to me this weekend. I was in the market on Sunday at a Caucasian, an individual said he was a war vet or whatever. For what other reason, I, I don't know. The man looked at me with total disgust, like, I was doing something to him, like, you know, like I was going to, so I asked him, was he all right? Was anything cool? So, you know, it gets into the point of, we talking about the NFL. He tell me, I'll never watch it again, this, this, and the third. And I'm telling him, sir, protests with the NFL has nothing to do with um, the flag or the or uh, the national anthem, things of that nature. It has nothing to do with that. I, I don't. I don't get it. Like what you upset about the protests and injustices and things like that. What's going on in the African American community between you know the police officers and the different injustices? That, that's what it's about. But I was just you know. It's like, wow, Like you're looking at me. You don't know me. You never met me. You don't know anything about me. But the first thing you do is you look at me with total disgust. Like, you know, you would have thought I had did something to this man or something, you know. But that wasn't the case. But it, it goes into what's going on now in Las Vegas. I mean, when we look at the shooting, I mean, 500 people hurt. 59 people killed. I don't know what his motives was or what his uh, what was his purpose or why he did this, but there's just a lot of hate right now, a lot of uh, tragedy in this country, throughout the world. It's not in this country because we live in a world and we're, you know, we're all a part of humanity. But I, I see a lot of uh, my people that I follow on Facebook and Instagram, they're putting up stuff about Tulsa, Oklahoma, different African-American tragedies that have happened in this country. And you keep hearing this thing about, you know, and I'm not trying to belittle or diminish what happened in Las Vegas, but we keep hearing this thing about basically this is the the greatest mass shooting or in, in modern times, but you know, Tulsa, Oklahoma did happen. But we, we got something going on within the cities, and this is just in cities within a hundred something miles radius of where I'm at. If we just look at within the inner city, the homicide rate, like Baltimore has recorded, according to the Baltimore Sun, 271 homicides so far this year. Uh, Wilmington, small city, Delaware, right outside, in between, sits in between Philadelphia and uh, Baltimore. Uh, so far, small small city, they've had uh, 25 homicides. And then you go into Philadelphia, this is according to the uh, Philadelphia Police Department crime mapper. It's 231. 231 murders. So we're at 500. That's like 500 and some change. Point blank period. 500 and some change. Point blank period. Of African Americans or people within the inner city who have been murdered or killed. Yeah, and some of it is crime that is perpetuated by people who look like us or we are the same color or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's still people who are dead, you know, and this is what we're talking about when, you know, certain lives, yeah, all lives matter. That's what y'all keep saying. But who gets the publicity and what's getting the publicity? I think that's the problem that people are having, like, you know, who's getting this publicity? You know, are we going to talk about, when we talk about the murders and the homicides, you get a flip back on you that, well, y'all are mad about cops killing African Americans. But you are perpetuating the crime amongst yourselves 
and you're not being mad about that. I think we're just as mad, but where's the publicity on it? Where, you know, it's almost like it's cool for us to kill each other and it's sweeping under the rug onto the next. It's cool for us to destroy the neighborhoods that we live in. You come in, you gentrify it, then we can't afford a loan to even live in neighborhoods that we've been in for decades. You know, it's almost like we're hurting ourselves, but there's no help. It's like we're living on an island by ourselves and, you know, and it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. And, you know, we have to basically champion and respect everybody else's causes. And our causes are just, you know, minute at the end of the day. Nobody really gives a damn. But there's opportunities out here for us through things like, you know, live, or if we look at, you know, things like that. We can talk to each other and we can start some kind of dialogue, some kind of working with each other to basically, uh, yeah, facts, Reza. That, that's facts, man. We we gotta do something. We gotta we gotta do something out here. But uh, check out the uh, podcast if you want on here with me on YouTube Live, or if you want here on live on um, Instagram. I got a podcast, fully joint. It's on uh, iTunes, Stature, you know. But at the end of the day. We, we got to do something, man. I, I'm, I'm like, looking at this and like, okay, I, I don't know what to do. Is it like, <laughs> I don't really, I can't, I don't want to say like, damn, I don't really feel a way about these people being murdered. I mean, I, I don't because I know what's going on in my own community. I see what's going on and I see that nobody is basically doing a damn thing. It's just like we go day to day and you know, anything that we do or anything that we say, the first thing y'all say is, well, y'all rap about it. Y'all live this life. But nobody talks about the reason why we live in this life or why we rapping about it. We rapping about what we see and our communities are what they are. But, you know, it's, I, I'm looking for, you know, some kind of things. You got brothers out here that are, are doing certain things that, you know, is trying to help the community, grassroots, but those things aren't getting brought to the light. And, uh, this is my rambling, you know, for the day, my weekly podcast that I'm doing. I just wanted to talk about my feelings and, you know, just how things are going on out here. That, that's that's it, point blank period, you know what I mean? So... You want to follow me? Get at me. Comment under this John. Drop me an email at onephillyjohngmail.com. You know, let me know. Uh, you love me? You hate me? Whatever. As I, as I say every week in my weekly podcast, get at me. You know. Uh, yeah, definitely the Willie Lynch syndrome. I see that on oh, you. You posted on live, man. That that's it's a deep situation out here, bro. Deep deep situation. That, that, we're in, but I, I don't, you know, I just don't understand the media, like, they put us, it's, this country is fucked up as it is, man, and it's just like, right now, it just seems like we're being pitted against each other, and the end result, I really believe is, I mean, I think these people want a race war, and I think that's the end result, and I think that us, we got to be careful that we're not uh, hoodwinked or bamboozled into some shit and, and you know, for their own, because it ain't going to be for us, it's going to be for them. And that's what it looked like that our president is walking us to, towards, the people is walking us towards, and that's what's going on. Like, we, we about to, something about to go down and you can feel it. You can feel it. You can feel the tension. You, you know what I mean? And, and what Bingley Siegel say, you can feel it in the air. You, you can feel it, you know? You know what I mean? 
your handshake ain't matching your smile. I, I can see it. We can see it. But I don't know, man. But I'm going to end this week. Get at me. If anybody want to comment, I'll, I'll uh, answer your comments and get back at, back at you. But, uh, you know what I mean? Y'all have a good one. Philly John. Check me out. One Philly John Gmail.com. One P H I L L Y J A W N at Gmail.com. One Philly John.com. I, mean, I, I got the shirts too for you. If I, I don't know if y'all can see that on here. The Philly John shirt. I mean, we. We we, we we rocking them joints at the at the at the t-shirttrack.com t-shirttrack.com but yeah it's it's real anybody on here checking out this live feed on YouTube you know checking out the podcast let me know get at me also uh, accessoryjunkie.com is uh, you know another another website that supports us uh, basically sells jewelry and things like that for women 